Um, they didn't take any of your amendments. You voiced a whole lot of concerns, yeah. but you voted yes on the on the well, bill. We Why? Two, we had two get in there. The, uh, the the requirements that we have additional annual training with respect to water authority operators. That's so was that halls or which? Yeah, it was similar to that. similar to what you were talking about. Okay, we had introduced that in the regular, regular bill, and they also put my uh, provision in there about uh, allowing for U.S. standards. Uh, with respect to waterfowl. So you've got three community schools that are brand new school districts built uh, have lead contaminated fountains. You know, Liberty, Camel, and um, uh, Sebring were the three uh, right off the top of my head. Um, look, the bill, the bill needs a lot more work. I've already talked Go ahead, you're fine. Uh, the bill needs a lot more work. I've talked to Senator Schiavone. It's a work in progress. You know, you can't get everything that you want. Um, it's a first step, and, and more timely public notification is good. I really think, I really, really think what's lacking in this bill is, is a bright line to help our water authorities identify exactly what constitutes a public health crisis. You saw from honing NVSD to the testimony of that uh, American Works, uh, th there's broad uh, concern that nobody knows what constitutes a public health crisis is not clearly defined. That's something that the legislature should do. So I'm going to take my efforts over to the Senate too, and I still have a lot of friends over there. Talk to them. Um, this clearly was pushed by the administration, pushed by the director of the EPA to get this through. I still feel, and I will speak to this tomorrow on the floor, that the the um, the director of the public e Ohio EPA still has a moral and legal responsibility to notify our residents when there is a failure of notification at the local level. There is no reason why that the state certified vendor sent the results on August 21st to the EPA and it took them six months to identify mm -hmm. this. I have, I have other concerns with the bill with, that we're requiring timely notification by our local folks, but given 30 days to the state certified vendor and eight days, 10 days to the, uh, to the EPA, that is not, that doesn't constitute time to notification in my view. If it's good for our local folks, it should be good for the state director as well. Are you offering any amendments, from the, any of these amendments or others on the floor tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to discuss this with uh, our leadership and uh, find out if, um, if it's useful to do that, to have a broader discussion. Uh, my hunch is, is that uh, working closely with some of the former folks that I know, I know Representative Seitz may have some objections to this. Uh, and Senator Schiavone, I've been sharing concerns with him all along. So we're going to work hard. The process is not, uh, that's, that's for us yeah. to work through the process, but uh, making sure that we improve public health, clearly identify what constitutes a public health crisis, and making sure that we have more timely notification for our citizens is what's, is what's important. Are you a yes tomorrow on the floor? Yeah, I'll be a yes. Okay.